Hi, everybody. Tonight we have our event, the September event, with the title, What Can We Learn From Nature? So, what can we learn from nature? What, how do you feel when you are out in nature? When you are in the forest, for instance, don't we feel relaxed, spacious to some extent even? And we really like it. It feels good to be there. And what might be the reason for that? The reason might be, or actually is, the trees and nature doesn't judge us. They just accept us for who we are and how we are. And nature in general doesn't judge. Does nature judge if there is too much rain, if there is a drought, too little rain? Does nature judge if there is a hurricane? Does nature judge the current forest fires in the Amazon? Nature doesn't judge them. And what if nature actually, to some extent, knows what she's doing? and creating these events because there is a need that nature has that we may not be aware of. So one thing we can actually go to is learning to ask a question. What is created with that? Is there something that I can contribute? Is there something that needs to change? And let me tell you a story that I just experienced a week ago, two, two weeks ago. I was driving through a forest and I saw here in Colorado, there is many forests where I would guess about 50% of the trees are dead. And so I felt, okay, let me contribute to the earth, to the forest, uh, so they can heal. And right away, I got superior bitch back. And so I got it in that moment when I got <laughs> superior bitch. And I just, I changed it and I said, let me just contribute whatever it is that you need that you require. And so I asked also, continue to ask questions. And what I got is that the dead trees are part of the cycle. It's not a wrongness. It's part of the cycle of life and death. It's part of how the forest lives. And if the forest fire goes through, then that is required in order to renew the growth of the forest. Fires are a natural occurrence. It's not necessarily every fire is bad. And how many uh, plants, for instance, need the fire for the seed pods to open up and the seeds to uh, start sprouting and growing? So how much are we willing to learn from nature? Nature changes as it needs, as is required. And if I look at what we humans do, we resist change. Come hell or high water, no, 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 no change. I don't want change. I want everything to stay the same because then I know how to deal with it. But is that natural? Change is part of nature. And nature doesn't judge change. Nature knows that change is necessary for the cycles to continue, for new growth to come, for old things to die off. What if we allow the same thing? What if we allow things that no longer serve us to die off? And in their stead, new things to come in 
that are actually contributing to us, that are serving us, that, making life, that are making life easier for us. So would you be willing to have a closer look at nature and really realize that judgment is not creating anything because if it would create something, I bet it would be present in nature. The fact that it's totally absent might tell me something about its contribution to creation or is it more a contribution to destruction that we destroy when we start judging others. If we start judging events, then we destroy what we intended to create because everything we do, every choice we make is part of the creative process. So we can either create or we can destroy. What is it that we choose? What is it that we desire? So where, where can you go with that? What is possible if we really look out at nature? There is, the, let's look at flowers. There is the bud, the new growth, the bud, the flower blooms, and then it decays, it falls apart, and the seeds get distributed. What seeds do we have that we can just put out into the world? What are the seeds that you have that you could put out in the world? Where are we with being happy, enjoying life? I, saw, I have some birds where I live currently that in the morning just sing and they have this unique kind of sound. Uh, I know one of them is a, um, okay, no. <laughs> escapes me um, but the other one I haven't been able to figure out and it has a unique beautiful sweet sound and I just when I heard it in the morning I just sort of like cuddled back into bed and am happy because for me it's a way that I am greeted by nature for this day and birds don't have bad hair days. They will sing. They are happy. They know that they are taken care of. Do we allow ourselves to know that the universe has our back? That the universe is taking care of us if we are willing to receive it? The bird is fully willing to receive it. They know about the gift and gifting and receiving. They fully understand it, not cognitively, but they get it. They get it energetically. It's part of their life. Nature provides. So what can we look at nature? How can we look at nature and really take some lessons for our own life and go from there? and enjoy life and be happy. Worry less. I don't think nature worries. I think that's a total foreign concept for nature. And what else can you find out? What else do you experience when you spend time in nature? The deep peace that can be there what if we can carry that throughout the day? What if that can be part of our life to have that peace? And that peace may allow us to be more in allowance of other people because we don't have to fight for something or against something. Nature doesn't fight for or against. Nature just is. Nature is present 
with what is. Can we do that? What can we learn from nature? What are we willing to learn from nature? Or do we have the superior attitude that, oh, nature is not as intelligent as we humans are, and therefore what could we learn from nature? Maybe what if nature is actually smarter than we are? And if I look up, you know, nature has been around a lot longer than we humans have. So what can we learn from nature? What can nature teach us? What are we allowing ourselves to receive from nature? Just a few thoughts for you to play with and to see what kind of an awareness you get, specifically for you in your life, for who you are as a person. And let's see what you can come up with and let me know. I would love to learn what is uh, becoming available to you. Okay, take care until the next event. Bye-bye.